Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Treasure Hunting Sonic. Today we're going to be looking at the Sonic toys from Diamond Select. There's been several different lines of Sonic toys by Diamond so far, uh, starting from a couple months ago when the Sonic Vinnie Mates came out. And also in this video we'll be talking about the Mini Mates and the new statues that are GameStop exclusive. So first off with the Vinnie Mates, here we have Sonic. Now, a lot of people don't know what Vinnie Mates are. It's their own unique figures by Diamond. They're um, done in their own, like I said, unique style. Um, it's blocky and kind of roundish in the hands, um, almost like a Lego minifigure, but big. Uh, a lot of people have been saying that these are ugly, but I really disagree. Um, like, you know, it's its unique style. Um, and a lot of people are huge fans of Funko Pops. I'm not, but I think those are, are hideous and people still seem to buy those left and right. Um, they, the Vinnie Mates cost 10 bucks. I got them through my local comic shop and you should be able to order them through your local comic shop as well because uh, all D Diamond Select supplies all comic shops. <laughs> um, they're about four inches tall and I chose not to take these out of the box because they're, they can display perfectly in these and they're stackable. Um, here we have tails. Looks a little bit chunky, which is kind of weird, but you know, still its own unique style. Kind of reminds me of the original uh, Sonic 2 Tails art, where he's like super chunky. And in this pose, his uh, tails are actually spinning. And if you take him out of the box, you can like kind of put him on his tiptoes, and it looks like the animation from the game where he's actually running at full speed and his tails are blowing behind him. Hmm. Said they stack so easy to display here's dr eggman and uh i really like this one um just by looking at him uh, you can see he looks a whole lot like he did in sonic adventure one back in the dreamcast days and i feel like there's not very many sonic products with you know dr eggman they actually spell out doctor it's usually just dr i don't know why that caught my eye But this is definitely my favorite one, and this one's a little bit taller than the other two, slightly. So moving on to Mini Mates, here's the first wave. Um, it, it includes Sonic, Tails, Amy, and Dr. Eggman. Um, a lot of people, the first thing they notice is that Tails' tails aren't connected to him. Uh, that's because the box is very skinny, and uh, you know you just pop Tails' head off, pop his. Uh, midsection and tails on and pop his head back on. He's a full figure. The Sonic, Tails, and Eggman figures look a lot like the Vinnie Mates, just smaller. Amy looks pretty good, in my opinion. Uh, there's also supposed to be a Wave 2 that was shown at Toy Fair last year. If I remember correctly, it had Sonic, Shadow, Cream, and Knuckles. So I'm definitely looking forward to that if that's still coming which I don't see why I wouldn't. Um, this is a little bit more expensive at $24.99, but you got four figures in it, so pretty, so it's worth it. <clears throat> now, moving on to the statues. This was the first statue that released. Uh, Sonic and he's holding uh, the green chaos emerald and jumping for a ring on a green hill base. It is modern Sonic. I, I really like this figure. It's uh, it doesn't move, but it's pretty detailed. Um, the I don't know what to call this. It's rubbery. The paint job could be a little bit better. Um, There's certain areas where you know, like on the feet here, where the paint looks kind of wonky. Um, but still, you know, the statue looks great, um, and this is a great alternative to the first four figures. You know, they're pretty expensive, and if you can't afford those or you just don't have space for them, this is, like I said, this is a great alternative. Um, they cost $49.99, which is, you know, a fraction of the cost of one of those. Uh, I would say it's about 10 inches tall. Um... It does come in a huge box. Um, with a lot of the, these statues that come in big boxes, 
I do take them out and the boxes I use to basically store smaller boxes. Um, I'll throw away the plastic molding that holds it in place and I'll fill the box with other stuff that I can't display. That way I can keep the box and not have to take up too much space. And finally, here's the tail statue. This is the most recent product from Diamond Select. He's reaching for a purple Chaos Emerald. It looks like it's supposed to be from a special stage. This part right here kind of reminds me of Windy Valley. I don't know why. The bridge or something, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm wrong about that. Uh, the floor, I don't really know where I recognize that from, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a special stage. Again, Tails is very detailed. I really like it. A little bit taller than the Sonic statue slightly eh, about the same again um the paint job you know could be a little bit better now there is one thing that somebody pointed out about this tail statue that kind of bothers me but i guess i can look past it and that's if his tails are spinning from this direction then this part of his tail should be going that way because of the force of the motion but you know it's whatever still a really cool statue um, again $50 came in a big box and both of these are GameStop exclusive I really hope they make more of these I really like them um, I would love to see a Knuckles one maybe in um, Pumpkin Hill like that would be so cool or um, you know Amy maybe in uh, the Hot Shelter or somewhere, or Twinkle Park, who knows, um, Eggman in, on the Egg Carrier, Egg Carrier base. So those are the Diamond Select toys that have been released so far with the Sonic license. Hope you guys enjoyed this look at them. Um, let me know in the comments, did, have you bought any of these? What, what do you think? What do you think about the Vinnie Mates and Mini Mates? Do you like them? Do you dislike them? Uh, what other statues like this would you like to see made? Any characters? Any ideas? Um, should they stick with modern? Should they do classic? And if you own these, what do you think about the way they compare to first four? So thanks for watching and see you guys next time.